Bill O'Reilly here. You are listening to the O'Reilly Update. Coming up next, the news with Mike Slater. Thank you, Bill. It is Thursday, February 2nd, 2023. Here's what's happening today in America. Retirement number two, rate hike number eight. Half as many ballots and 100 million freeloaders. And then Bill will be here with the message of the day. But first, Tom Brady retiring from football. Again, one year after retiring the last time, which he made for 40 days. Tom Brady played 23 years, 45 years old. He has the most wins, Pro Bowls, Super Bowl MVPs, completions, passing yards, and passing touchdowns. The most postseason appearances, postseason wins, Super Bowl appearances, 10, 7 wins, 14 playoff game-winning drives, and ninth playoff fourth-quarter comebacks. Tom Brady has more Super Bowl wins than any franchise. The, Gi- the Giants and Packers have won four. The 49ers and Cowboys have won five. The Steelers and Patriots have won six. Tom Brady's won seven. The Federal Reserve increasing interest rates a quarter of a point. The previous rate hikes were 0.75 or 0.5. So this is a decrease in the rate of increase. The head of the Fed said that the effects of raising interest rates lags. And people are starting to tighten their belts. Consumer spending is down. Retail purchases have fallen in three of the past four months. Home sales are at their lowest level since 2014. The auto industry had its worst year in sales in over 10 years. But this is the point of raising the rates to get people unemployed so that people aren't spending as much money and then inflation goes down. It's a terrible plan, but (laughs) that's where we are. That's what they're doing. Is it working? The governor of Texas says the most recent election in Harris County was so poorly run, quote, it may necessitate new elections. Harris County is Houston. It's the most populous county in the state of Texas. If it were its own state, it would be the 25th biggest state. And apparently Harris County officials did not provide enough paper ballots in their 121 voting centers. Apparently they only printed out half as many ballots as they did in previous years for no apparent reason. So they may have to do the election again. Is that incompetence or something worse? Speaking of stealing, do you watch Netflix? Do you pay for Netflix is the actual question. Because if for the last few years you have Netflix but haven't paid for it, that's coming to an end. Netflix is cracking down on password sharing in just the next few days. Early on, they wanted people to get hooked. But now they have too many competitors and last April reported their first loss of subscribers ever. So sometime in this quarter, Netflix will match your Wi-Fi IP address to determine where you live and make sure that this is indeed your primary location. So if your mother-in-law tries to sign in from someplace else, it won't work. I'm Mike Slater. Bill O'Reilly will be back with your message of the day next. Inflation at its highest level in 40 years and interest rates are skyrocketing, as you know. Market experts like Jamie Dimon, CEO of J.P. Morgan, predicting recession. So to protect your future, do what I did. Call the only precious metal dealers I trust, American Hartford Gold. They will show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. You can get started with a short phone call. They will place physical gold and silver right at your door or inside your IRA or 401k. Please tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you and they'll give you up to $2,500 of free silver on your first order. Don't wait. You can call them now. 877-444-GOLD. 877-444-GOLD. Or text GOLD to 65532. Again, 877-444-GOLD. Or text GOLD to 65532. Time now for the O'Reilly Update message of the day. On this Thursday, have you noticed the attacks on Donald Trump have increased recently? There are three different campaigns to take the former president out. The first is New York State, which is desperately trying to pin a criminal rap on Trump and is leaking all kinds of anti-Trump stuff. Second is in Georgia, where a preposterous investigation alleges that somehow Mr. Trump interfered in that state's voting process. And the third is the corporate media, which continues to spew every allegation unchallenged against Trump. Now that Fox News has largely abandoned the former president, he fights the press pretty much alone. There is some urgency here on the left. Consumer spending actually fell in December, Christmas season, and American buyers will dictate whether a recession happens this year. If a recession does happen, 
say goodbye to the Democratic Party in 2024. Add to that food inflation at 10 percent year to year, gas prices on the rise again, and the Biden administration sinks further into the abyss. Donald Trump leads in some of the early Republican polls, so he presents a clear and present danger to the left, which is why Stormy Daniels suddenly reappeared this week. It is a very nasty game, of course, and diminishes our country. Want to knock Trump out of politics? Do it on policy, if you can. I'm Bill O'Reilly. I approve the message by writing it. You can reach me, Bill at BillOReilly.com, Bill at BillOReilly.com. Name in town if you wish to opine. I did some mail. Uh, let's go to Julie. It's about time someone sues Bob Woodward, and I don't think it will hurt Donald Trump. Bill, I'm surprised you think Trump has brought all this chaos on himself. I didn't say that. He said brought it on himself. But he needs to pick his battles because if you have a controversy du jour, it exhausts people. Hugh Oldham, Palm Beach Gardens, Florida, as Vietnam vet, from experience, I know why the Memphis police officers acted the way they did. They are in an active war zone. We kid ourselves when we're shocked when rational thought is missing in these violent situations. You see, I respect your service, Hugh. You know I do. But you and all the other Vietnam vets didn't do atrocities, okay? And 99.999% of police officers in the USA in the worst conditions don't do atrocities. So it's not an excuse. Maria Berms, Costa Mesa, California. The Ben Ferguson analysis of the awful mental police situation is the best I've heard. That is why we are here, Maria. We are bringing you, you compare that interview I just did, okay, with Mike Pompeo to any other interview he's done. Just compare it. You have to see the difference. Marilyn Ayers, Liberty Lake, Washington. Um, the great spa in the sky awaits us all. That brought a smile to my face. That was the message of the day about baby boomers getting older and expiring. And I hope everybody read it on BillOReilly.com. George, concierge member, George gets direct access to me. When the NFL refused to do anything about players kneeling, I walked away. You know, look, I respect that. Um, it was outrageous what happened. I respect it. But it's the game. And the NFL is a monopoly. I like the game and I watch the game. Um, I didn't like what they did with the kneeling, that's for sure. In a moment, something you might not know. This is a special alert to all Americans who own a vehicle with less than 200,000 miles with an auto warranty about to expire or with no warranty coverage at all. Due to a decline in the economy, CarShield is announcing a low-cost month-to-month vehicle protection plan that is now available to the public to save any driver out-of-pocket expenses on future auto repairs. Call now to find out how you can pay almost nothing for covered auto repairs. Yes, you heard that correctly. Pay almost nothing for covered auto repairs. An open phone line has been established for all drivers to call for a free quick quote. Call 800 800- 925-7584 now. Drivers who are covered will not have to pay for covered repairs again. This protection plan is at an all-time low. Additionally, drivers who activate this vehicle protection today will also receive free roadside assistance, free towing, and car rental options at no additional cost. Call us for your free quick quote today. 800-925-7584. That's 800-925-7584. What do you have to lose? Call 800-925-7584. Again, 800-925-7584. Now, the O'Reilly Update brings you something you might not know. 370 years ago today, Dutch officials in North America officially incorporated a small village along the Atlantic coast. The charter named the settlement as the capital of New Netherlands. It would eventually be known as New York City. Here is the story of New Amsterdam. During the 1620s, the southern tip of Manhattan, was used as a trading outpost for the Dutch West India Company, one of the most powerful corporations in the world. The village was known for its debauchery. The town had fewer than 1,000 residents. Between March and September, better weather, that figure swelled to 5,000. Visitors included drunken sailors, slavers, Native American traders. To restore order, representatives from Holland granted the locals a city charter on February 2nd, 1653. 
They were instructed on how to form a police department, militia, courts, and prisons. Life in New Amsterdam was rough. One in every 15 buildings was a saloon. Farm animals roamed the streets. More than 18 different languages were spoken in one square mile. It was the most religiously diverse location on earth. Different faiths included Catholics from France and Spain, Dutch Protestants, Portuguese Jews, Muslims from Morocco, Chinese Buddhists. The main industry in New Amsterdam was trading furs and slaves. The average resident died at age 42, mostly from malnutrition or disease. The village became an attractive location for other European powers, mainly the British, who had outposts in nearby Connecticut and Long Island. In 1664, the English seized New Amsterdam without firing a shot. The town was quickly renamed New York. And here's something else you might not know. New Amsterdam was also a popular destination for pirates from the Caribbean. Buccaneers used the Dutch settlement to evade the English Navy. After the British seized the city, they immediately began executing pirates at a spot called Execution Dock. Today, the location is better known as Wall Street. Now this. Many timeshare owners are upset that their yearly dues continue to increase. And the annual fees never stop, even after you quit using the property. So if you are stuck in a timeshare, you're not alone. With an A-plus rating at the Better Business Bureau and hundreds of five-star testimonials, Family-owned Lone Star Transfer is the only company you can trust, guaranteeing the release of all liability to your timeshare in writing and in a specific time frame. Lone Star Transfer's customer service is second to none. They will make your experience a pleasant one, done legally, ethically, and quickly. They have 15 years of experience in the timeshare disposal business and are here to help you. So start the new year off right with a free, no obligation consultation. Call 855-551-7066 or go to LoneStarTransfer.com. 855-551-7066. Thank you for listening to the O'Reilly Update. I am Bill O'Reilly. No spin, just facts, and always looking out for you.